Hello everyone, David here with another unboxing. Today, I have a tripod made by Gikoto, and it's sold on Amazon. And let's see what comes in the box, first of all. Okay, here we have the tripod in itself. I'm gonna set it aside. Let me just go over the small stuff. This pouch, as you saw, it was on top of this. It's to protect the head, keep it from, from dust, free of dust and all that. The, it comes with an Allen wrench in this little pouch to make adjustments on your legs uh, and simple to use instructions they're in english tripod use manual that's what they look like it's pretty self-explanatory it's got this head right here as you can see it goes up and down there and it can be used as a monopod so let's see what else comes with it let me put that it's got a little bolt here, which is probably to attach the monopod maybe, leg to, to the column, center column. Let's take a look here. This is aluminum. It's got a little rubber grip right here. Nice. This right here can be adjusted to different heights. The column goes up. Same thing here. So the neat thing about this, you see, it can go that way, or it can even need to go this way, a little higher, or even like that. So that's pretty cool. So if you need it out of the way, I'm assuming with the weight, you might wanna lean towards maybe like that. That way you have all the weight here, keeping it from tipping forward and photograph lower items like that, if you wanna do it this way. If you do it like that, you can go down. But let's, uh, those are the legs. This is aluminum right here, and it's spring-loaded, which is a neat feature right here. And I don't see this right here, unlocks. This is the monopod part. The one with the rubber grip. Yep, and I was right. This goes right here. That way you can attach this piece right here, which comes off. If you loosen this up, this comes right off, as you can see. And then it goes right here. And there you have it, a monopod. <laughs> Neat. This, I'm not gonna go over anything else on this because this is pretty much that. This column also extends a little bit extra, okay? So you have the monopod, and then this right here, these are the clips. You can loosen that up. I like how they're easy to slide out. This is a little bit thin, but it seems like good plastic. There's no adjustments on them, but this is as tall as it gets, and you set your camera right here. This is plastic, it's a plastic mount. And it's got a little lever here to open and close, you know, to screw into underneath your camera. And it goes back like this and you just tighten it up here. It doesn't slide in and out unless you go to pull it out. So it doesn't slide back and forward. So it stays in one spot. So no risk of the camera falling off. And this right here loosens up the head. It's nice and tight. It's metal or aluminum, whatever you want to call it. And it goes to a 90 degree. I like that. This right here is for the, for the video, for the head, I mean, which can be removed. And it's got a, it's not a quarter inch, it's a, a little bit bigger. 
So you cannot, you cannot mount the camera directly to here unless you remove this right here. Let's see what this does. This comes off and let me see. You can flip it around and then you just put this piece in there. You want to put it all the way in to where it stays and get it nice and tight. And now we have a quarter inch. You can hook up your camera directly to here. That's like that. And it's got this little thing right here. And this is not plastic. So it's like a rubber, like a thick rubber. So I like, I like that. That's pretty neat. So let me flip it around again. It's a neat feature to have options. So all, all in one tripod and it's not heavy at all it's actually really light and of course uh let's try the this cruise right here and this is nice and tight here it's smooth to move it's not like all jerky or whatever so i like that but on the actual head itself here it has a bubble head to keep it level and you know it's got all the wants and need as you know as any other tripod out there in the market so and i've had a, quite a few of them so i like this now this goes in here the tripod screws back in here i like that Let's stand it up from the ground. They do have a longer version of, the, of, of this tripod, which is about 80 inches, I believe. And the legs are not wobbly at all. So that's pretty neat. I think I left the leg down somehow. Oh. All right, so there's that. And let me raise up the center column comes right off too oh it helps if I put this back on keep it this keeps it from from the happening <laughs> user error read instructions before you use recommend it okay doesn't have to be really tight now that's the maximum all the legs and then right here this gives you a little bit of extra I like that and of course the drag is smooth feels like fluid I like that get it nice and tight doesn't go anywhere this can be moved another thing is you when you remove this I didn't show you if you remove this piece out you can mount it upside down so you can see like like so if you want to get closer you can get really close different uses for every different situation like I mean the camera is gonna stick out so if you're doing micro shot and you want to feel comfortable if not then just bring this up Bring this out a little more. I don't want to go too far out, out of my table. And then you just, you can also loosen this up and bring it up. But look at how far down you can go with this. And I don't have the thing out. But look at that. You could get really, really close for micro photography. This is pretty neat. And the material. It's solid. Well, that's it, guys, for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a great day.